Dr. B out here. Let's do our medical word of the day. <clears throat> and this one was a request. And that is for Sjogren's Syndrome. Sjogren's Syndrome is a type of what's called an autoimmune disease. And autoimmune diseases, there are bunches of them, but the most common ones that you hear about are rheumatoid arthritis, um, psoriatic arthritis, lupus, Sjogren's, and there are several others. But this is when the body attacks itself. And in the case of Sjogren's, the body attacks your moisture pr producing glands, the salivary glands, the lacrimal glands in your eyes, uh, the glands in your vagina. These are all subject to attack and dysfunction. <clears throat> so the symptoms of Sjogren's are that of dryness. They're called sicca symptoms. Dry eyes, dry mouth, dry vagina. There's also other symptoms that go along with it <clears throat> that are related to the autoimmune process. Fatigue, muscle aches, body aches, joint problems. Um, things that you would see like in rheumatoid arthritis. Diagnosis, a little bit difficult at times. It's way underdiagnosed. Um, symptoms are those that go along with dryness. Dry eyes. That is called uh, kerato conjunctivitis sicca. Dry mouth is called xerostomia. So those two things can be a clue to a diagnosis. Um, sometimes they'll do a salivary gland biopsy. There's some blood tests that can point the way as well um, when you're doing the workup. Treatment, a lot of times you just treat the symptoms. Eye drops, good eye protection oral hygiene, artificial saliva, making sure you go to the dentist frequently because a really dry mouth can lead you to have um, dental caries or cavities. Uh, dry eyes can lead to ulceration of the corneas. There are some medicines, mainly the type used for like rheumatoid arthritis and one of the more common use, uh, used ones is called Plaquenil. And another name for Plaquenil is hydroxychloroquine. So, if you have an overt dryness, mouth, eyes, vagina, you need to have it looked at. You may have an underlying autoimmune disease called Sjogren's Syndrome.